messed up my seeds, dude. Seriously. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Christina with the Geocache family. This is our first year on this new property uh, and first year attempting mass flower besides just veggies. Um, I am coming off of 15, 20 years of home garden growing and trying to switch to a business within the next year. So we are in the phases of testing soil, testing how plants do, watching the weather, um, getting used to the changes, subtle changes in the climate from our old urban property to this uh, baby farm property. So let me show you uh, where we're at today. Uh, we are mid-June. Um, my videos are very behind. I'm gonna try and catch them up here, but we are mid-June now, and um, things are really starting to pop. I still have so many things that have to get in the ground. Um, so we're working on it. We'll see if they'll survive or not. Um, lots of stuff. I was hoping that I had more of my uh, greenhouses up and going. Um, but so far, um, one and a half. Husband almost has the second one somewhat functioning. So let me show you what, what it looks like. All right. So a store here that is kind of similar to Tractor Supply um, or Big R has a display made with cinder blocks um, side by side and then two um, landscaping beams going through it and then it basically becomes a shelf and so I'm going to tear these down well the kids and I are going to tear these down um, and make those for plants that I am trying to sell um, or rehome uh, eventually and uh, just to give a little bit more space here because I could almost till I could probably fit two more beds in here if the shelf things are lining this uh, so I really like that idea. It gives me a lot more uh, growing space. Um, and then if I get to the point where people can come in and cut their own uh, flowers, uh, everything's kind of in one space, at least for this year. We'll see. Um, everything is so everybody keeps asking, uh, you know, what are my plans? And I don't know yet. I, I honestly don't know yet. <laughs> so um, trial and error, seeing what, like, what I like, what my body holds up to yeah that's basically where we're at so uh, these are all the ones i still need to get in the ground um, these are getting closer uh, ranunculus is almost done uh, i'm hoping that they did get pollinated um, and i can get some seeds that would be like way cool uh, otherwise i'm, I'm going to start digging the corms up once they start dying i think if we put those closer to the cooling uh, unit I get more time out of them and so that's that's the plan for next year but um, my husband just picked out some augers for me basically my brother and his wife my sister um, got it for me as a birthday gift um, so that we can save on my hands my joints uh, they are killing me with all of this planting. So I planted that guy in like 15 seconds. Awesome. And then whatever doesn't find homes uh, or I, I don't sell whatever for donation, um, I'm going to just plant them out front and um, just see what happens. And so that bad boy will help me out there because there's a lot of rock and very hard dirt. So there are a lot of tomatoes that still need homes so yeah I have a couple dahlias in here that are ready to be put into the ground so I'm gonna put those guys out um, the other ones didn't come up so all my watering and everything I hate buying dahlias like this from the big box stores because this is typically what happens to me every year um, I plant them in the ground and then they never come up so, yeah. Oh, my husband moved these wires to better match up with my rows because I was not 
super smart when I made my beds to match up what was up there, but thankfully it's not, it's not hard to move. So, but yeah, my ranunculus is almost done. I'll get the rest of these maters in the ground. Oh, this one is a beauty. Look at her. Oh, she's so pretty. Getting close. I'm getting close. These are the flocks that survived um, being in trays for so ridiculously long. They are so pretty. I love them. These are bunny ear pansies that I got and they have bunny ears and I thought it fitting since we had so many surprise bun buns um, come to our farm this year <laughs> because I didn't know I had males. So three litters of bunnies and uh, only one has found a home so far. Oh, but that's okay. We'll make it work until I can find homes for them or if they stay, they stay. Um, I'm not thrilled with the amount of boys we have, but we'll figure it out. My raspberry bush is taller than me now. I have more coming up. It's pretty fantastic. These are Johnny Jump Ups, I think. Tiny little violas. And I think these ones were my freckles. And then look at these. Oh, isn't it so cute? I love them. Oh, I gotta get these guys out though. It's already stinking warm. Oh, man oh man. It don't take long. A little rogue sunflower that came in, I think, from my cockatiel seed. Hi, Toad. Hi. My Lizianthus, they're starting to get tall. My biggest uh, battle in here is bindweed. It's all right, buddy. I'm not going to get you. Oh, <laughs> look it. I didn't even see that one in there with the Lizzie's. Every time we find a toad, I bring them in here because I don't want my dogs eating them. Oh, this bindweed. It's everywhere. These dahlias are all ones I started from seed. I am so excited to see these guys. Thankfully, this bindweed kind of comes up fairly easily. Hey, finally getting a begonia. Hey, what are you doing? All right, so this is my strawberry patch. Um, I got these all from somebody kind of semi-local to me. She was about an hour away. Her and her daughter did this as a project. Oh, and so I bought 60... 64 plants, I think, and I kept 60 of them. And um, they are starting to really do good. These are the Alpine Everbearing. Look at this. Oh, they make me so happy. <laughs> they seem so much happier since I came out here and added some wood chips, too. So that is one of the things I learned in the springs so was they really like mulching but yeah they're they're starting to do really good there was one in here that had a great baby tendril already started if I can find her are you watching what I'm doing buddy hey hey buddy can you not on the strawberries honey gardening with animals man I tell ya Ooh, look at that baby. Oh, almost ready. <laughs> Mouse, don't lay on them. Yeah, look, look, look. See? Babies. I think that's the only one I saw a runner on so far. All right. And now, these are the snapdragons that got eaten down twice and they are finally starting to butt up and 
These are supposed to be my Tetra Giants. And I think they are. I and mean, look at that compared to my thumb. It's the biggest Snapdragons I have ever seen. I love them. Look at this. Oh, okay, let's see. All yellow. I've got two red ones so far. There's that one, and there's another one I saw pink on the buds. It's not open yet. Oh, down there. Pink or purple. But oh my goodness, these babies. I just love them. They're just beautiful. Totally worth all the tears and all the work. And I think having them planted back here next to the uh, cool cooling system has helped definitely prolong them. I know in the springs when I planted these outside, they, um, they quit blooming basically when it started getting hot. And then I didn't see them again until the end of the season. So um, this makes me happy. We had to move these beautiful plants out because they are lilies and because that little gray and white beast follows me out here I wanted to make sure he was safe so we are moving those outside my mom also gave me some things actually all of those came from my mom and dad's house um, they dug them up to plant her peonies and um, I think they're all flowering things so we're gonna move them out front uh, we're working on the beds out there but I'm gonna come in here and weed a little bit and uh, try and get the rest of the stuff in the ground. That's the biggest thing. If I can get it in the ground, my life will be so much better. And then I gotta start staking out my tomatoes. Oh, there's just so much, but I love it. I love it so much. They are getting so tame now that they see me with the container and they just wait for me to throw bugs down to them. I've already fed four of them. <laughs> They're eating soldier flies. Um, Dubia.com has soldier flies, mealworms, wax worms. Uh, you name it. And they got here in two days. It was fantastic. These little guys are not as fast as the big ones. <laughs> my little dark one was over here. There he is. He's right there. And then my fourth one was a little tiny. It almost looks purplish. Oh. Are you guys getting full yet? Huh? Go rest now. I'm not throwing any more down. Yeah, so I have like eight pet toads. I love them. Yeah. And they eat the other bugs that are in the greenhouse. So I just got to make them happy here so they stay. And then they can keep chasing other bugs. These little things should not be bringing me as much joy as they do. The 
There's one right by your toe. There you go. Here you go. Get it. These two are having a conversation. What you guys talking about, huh? You think this is a good restaurant? You gonna come back again for more? All right. So my shelf system has begun. I love that way better than tables and pallets. We got rid of the one up there and now I can put plants there. I'm gonna plant my peppers here, get rid of this pile. I might even plant my peppers in the bed that we stuck all the way behind there. I haven't decided yet, but I hurt my knee yesterday planting all of the snapdragons here and the snapdragons over there in that bed. Ranunculus is almost done, so I'm starting to work in other things into to that spot now. So there's some tomatoes tucked in there and these volunteer squash plants, whatever they are. My other ones are um, doing good. They're all over here. But Ashley, my god pop, has been helping water and that helps so much. Look. That's sage flowering. Isn't that awesome? Oh. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm getting there. There's less and less plants up here. We started stringing up some of the tomatoes now so that uh, they can stay upright. And the status is starting to throw stems. Glads are getting big. My asters are starting to bloom. Little pops of color all over. Hopefully they get bigger. Look at this. It's just beautiful.